Hello, Team Green. Let's get ready for calendar. Today is Thursday, October 22nd, 2020. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's no babies, no hundreds, only 10 sticks. This will be a fun one. So I'm gonna put it in here and grab my whiteboard. So even if there aren't any babies, the baby is the first one in the story. We always have to have a room for the baby, okay? And we already know there's zero babies, but we still have to have a room for the baby. We have to start the story from the youngest to the oldest, okay? And we do have 10 sticks, so we're gonna have a bedroom for that. There's no hundreds or anything like that, but they're over here. As long as we get the babies, then the 10 sticks, we have to go in order. So once there's zero there, we don't have to keep going. So we know there's zero babies. Let's count how many 10 sticks. One, two, three, four, five 10 sticks. So if we have five tens and zero ones, makes the number 50. Nice job, my friends. We have 50 for 50 blocks on this day of school. 50, let's add another day. Here we go, we are getting so close to making a bundle. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in the ones place. Here he is. Repeat after me. Repeat after you. Zero hundreds, zero hundreds, four tens, four tens, and eight ones, and eight ones makes the number. What number is this with a four and an eight? Say four and an eight is 48. Four and an eight is 48. We have been in school for 48 days. We're getting so close. Okay, so before we move on today, I want to show you something new. I am going to magically turn everybody into a scale. A scale is something that weighs stuff. So sometimes there's a scale that you can step on and it'll tell you how much you weigh. And there's a balance scale. I don't know if you've seen one, but it has two sides and it kind of goes like this. And whatever side is the heaviest goes down here. And if this side's the heaviest, it goes down here. So you can compare and see which side weighs more. Let's do an example. I have some um, examples for you. Watch this. What do you think is going to weigh more? A chair or a marker? A chair? or a marker. Which side weighs more? So, I'm gonna get my arms out. Everyone put your arms out. Okay, I'm gonna put them on the scale and ooh, guess what? The chair is way heavier than the marker. So it makes the scale go boop down here. The chair weighs more. Did you get that one right? Let's try another one. Here's some more things from our classroom. I have a marble or a beanbag chair. A marble or a beanbag chair. I'm gonna put them on different sides so you can see that the scale goes either way. So a marble will be on this side. So hold this arm out. This has my marble. This side has my beanbag chair. Put your arms out. Hmm, which side do you think weighs more? <laughs> This beanbag chair weighs way more than this marble. So my scale goes like this. It's not balanced. This one's way heavier. Hmm. Here's an example. Which weighs more? I have a marble and I have a marble. Ooh, tricky. A marble and a marble. Put your hands out. Which one weighs more? That's a trick. 
they are the same. They're the same size marbles. The color doesn't matter. When you have two of the exact same, they are going to be balanced. So you can see my arms are balanced. This one's not down, this one's not down. They weigh the same, so we say they're equal. Can you say that they're equal? Can you say that they're balanced? These are the same, they're balanced. Here's another one. What if I have blocks? So I have some blocks like what you guys have in your bags. Let me see, I am going to do one block over here, and then this is a whole 10 stick. So there's 10 blocks or one block. 10 blocks or one block. Which one, let's put our arms out, which one is going to weigh more? 10 or one? Let's see, everyone have your arms out. Mm -hmm. 10 blocks is going to weigh more than one block. It is heavier. 10 is more than one. They're not balanced. Okay, here's another one for you. Last one for today. What weighs more, one block or one block? You might already know the answer. One block or one block. Get your arms out. Mm, they're the same. They are balanced. One is equal to one. They're the same amount. Hopefully you got that one right today, friends. Okay, I am so glad that you joined me today. That's all for me, because now it's time for Fact Families with Miss Nelson. Woo! Hi, friends. Welcome back to Fact Families with Miss Nielsen. All right. So today we're going to be working with some numbers that are related facts. So today our numbers are going to be Let's see. I'm going to do 11 minus, so take away, 5 equals 6. That's our first equation. So 11, our numbers are 11, 5, and 6. So what are we going to do with that? Well, we're gonna go to our big brother over here, which is plus, and do some addition instead of the subtraction. So we're gonna flip it around a little bit. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with one of the smaller numbers, so five or six. I'm gonna start with six. So that means we have to use another small number, so five to create this equation. So six plus five equals 11. So there we have our three numbers, six, five, and 11. So those are our two related facts for today. All right, friends, that's all for Fact Families with Miss Nielsen today. I'll see you next time.